and welcome back again to another of my video today i'll be showing you how to use a bias strip this is why can you how to use this to tidy up your neckline and this is a round neckline so i'll be showing you how to use this to tidy it up and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so please keep on watching so the first thing you do here is you start for the middle so i'll just go to markets you can either do this on your right side of the fabric or on your wrong side of the fabric so you take your bias strip this one is a chiffon material and the length here from here to here is two inches so yeah i'll fold it like this make sure it's equal that's very important fold it like this see here it's very equal it's folded turn it like this folded then you put it here like so make sure the edge of your neckline is is equal to the bias strip here chiffon bias strip so you see i use my pin to secure it so i have i'm not left with this so now i'll start moving it round Sorry, let me arrange it properly. So I'll st I'll make sure it's equal. See, do I do it? Make sure it's equal. Then I move it round, making sure the edges are all equal. So I'll pin it. For the sake of this material, I'll just pin it so you can see what I'm doing. You see what I'm doing now. Then I arrange it again. I'll take my bias strip. Is this my dry chiffon? You see where I put on my neckline, making sure it's equal. You see it's equal. I pin it. So now, I've done this. I will take it to the sewing my sewing machine. Then, when I want to stitch, when I want to stitch, I will stitch like this. You see, close to the edge. I'll stitch from there. I just like quarter, half of, how would I say, a quarter of an inch here. Yeah. Very tiny, like this. I'll stitch. Then now I want to take this to my sewing machine to go and start stitching. So yes, my chiffon. Remember the center point where I mark it on my neckline. So I'll place my needle of my machine on top like this. Then I'm gonna take out my pin. Let me stop first. Take out the pin. I place it quickly. So, I will not stitch it. When you are stitching, just don't rush it. Just do it slowly. Because you don't want to make a mistake and start losing all over again. So, I'll start stitching. Slowly, slowly. I'll take my pin. And I'll start stitching. Take my pin. So now, I won't use my pin anymore. I'll just be using my hand to guide the the bias, the chiffon bias strip around, making sure it. The, see my edges here; they're all equal. See the way I hold it is equal. So I'll just put it at the edge of the neckline, making sure they're all equal. 
then I will stitch with care then I will hold it again like this making sure they are all equal again I will hold it like this again making sure it's equal to my neckline then I will stitch with care Then I'll hold it by a strip again, like so, making sure it's equal. That is extremely very important when you're doing it. Then you stitch again. Then, so I will just be using this method throughout. So the other to the round the neckline so when i get to the end of the neckline i'll come back so i'm almost getting close to the end of my neckline so i'm just tidying it up like this making sure it's they're all equal so i'll stitch again the first one I saw this is the extra so what I'm going to do here I'm going to stitch a little bit up here I put it on a side and stitch then I'll stop now I'm going to cut this other one as well out because I won't be needing it so you can see this is we've come to the end of the cycle so what I'm going to do here I'm going to put this inside here like so then I'll bend it this way and I'll stitch I finished stitching it round the next step is to now tidy up the edges with my scissors so I'll tidy up making sure all the edges here are equal please when you are tidying up your edges please don't cut the thread that you use to sew it so I finished now what's the next step now is to now take see the neckline is to now take this see the way I did it this chiffon fabric is so light my friends okay now you take it like this you bend it inside like so this is the rough edges isn't it then you bend it inside this way inside this way then you turn it over again And stitch on top of the thread that you use stitching the first stitch so I go over again like this bend it over then you just want to bend it on top of your first stitch like so then now it's now on top of your first stitch you now 
do the second stitching on top of the first stitch like this the last stitch from here straight ahead so let me start doing it so now it's on top of the sewing machine now I'm going to stitch so I'm gonna push this over like I told you earlier and flip it back again and having done this I'll now clip on my machine to secure it now I'll start stitching so I'm gonna be stitching on top of my first stitch so I'm gonna do it slowly don't rush it please I'll do it again So I'll just continue doing that till I get to the end of the round neck. So my friends, this is the end of the tutorial. So if you use this formula, that's what you're going to achieve at the end of it. So like I said, this is a formula to use. And you remember when I was using this, when I was stitching it, I used different thread on my sewing machine. So please don't use different thread on your sewing machine. No, don't use it. That's what I just used. But I use this formula to teach you, to show you that you can achieve this neckline when you use that strip I showed you. They call it bias strip here. Yeah. When you use that strip. So you can, that's what you achieve using that method. This is what you're going to get at the end of it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share my video. So for now, one peace, one love. And bye for now. Bye for now.